Hello, my love. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, I just had the most insane Raven Simone moment. You remember when she would have that like whoop moment and then she would have a vision? It was very similar to that. I typically don't get my visions in that way, but the fact that it came through that way is pretty significant and telling. In fact, I had to stop what I was doing to come here and share this mes message with you. I feel that this message, I feel it really strong in my spirit. This is a specific message for someone or someones because I wouldn't be surprised if more than one person resonates with this message specifically. There's a lot of specific details. So let me tell you exactly what it was I saw. Basically, I saw this bird and I'm not entirely sure what type of bird it was, but it seemed like a bird of prey. It's built for survival. It's built to see things, to be very keen, to be very sharp, to be very fast, and it turns. Like when it's flying in the in the air, it turns really quickly. And it's almost like a falcon, but I'm not entirely, like an osprey, an osprey, I think. So maybe look up the symbol of, symbolism of an osprey if you need to. Um, and also I'm seeing like a mockingbird or a bluebird. As I'm saying that, my nose is also like tickling. So I'm, so this bird is flying and makes, has to make a sharp turn and I can see, and I have this intuitive sense and I have this intuitive knowledge that lets me know that this bird is not turning in order to catch prey. It's turning to avoid wind or something like a gust of wind comes in and pushes it from its flight path, pushes it away from how it would intend to fly. And its mind, normally something that's very peaceful and sharp has become chaotic and almost panicking in the, in this, in the, the, I just heard like facing the fact that these circumstances are completely outside of its control. This, there's this emphasis on the fact that this bird is designed for not to be a weapon, but to be sharp, to be very, very sharp, to to kill, to hunt, to prey. That's what its survival is all about. That's what it's notorious for. And there's something about this bird getting disoriented by this gust of wind. And what this, and then I just saw this bird like really just kind of quickly like calculating. I don't know if calculating is the right word, but survival mode kicks in and it's trying to reset itself, reroute itself. As I sat with that, I got this really strong sense of spirit saying, this is you, not me, but this is who I'm, who I need to share this message towards. This is you, you, it, and this is very, very specific. This was either a recent ch a decision or a choice that you made in the past that now is recently really looming its head. It's showing up in your life in a very big way whether there's the events of it from the past are being triggered and showing up now, very, very specific. Or you made a choice, a decision really quickly and you're dealing with it right now, you're facing it right now. Spirit says, this is you, you are the bird. Your disorientation, like you feeling disoriented and panicking is a product of the environment. It's a product of the of something that happened in your environment that was outside of your control. You are not a reflection of that. You are not a reflection of that. Spirit wants to say you are not a reflection of the thing that di that disoriented you, the relationship that disoriented you, this event that disoriented you. You are not a reflection of that. You are actually built for speed, you're built for gifts, you're built for discernment, you're built for clarity. But in that moment, you got disoriented and you had to think really fast and make make a choice that probably rerouted your path or changed the trajectory of something. I don't know what this is because I couldn't even sit with it long enough to get the details of it. I personally cannot relate to it. This message is not for me, it's for, the, for this person. I don't even wanna say that it's for the collective. I think it's for the specific, specific. Or maybe it's, I, I mean, sit, sit with it, you know, like, but anyways, so I, 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 spirit wanted to say like the, the choice and the, the decision that you made to reroute or in that moment, like that quick moment where you had to think or where you had to react or you had to shift or you had to change or you reacted to something, it changed the trajectory. And when things started, then I started to see things kind of calming down and things kind of centering out and things kind of evening out. And that's when the bird, and then in this case you, you start to sit with yourself 
and you kind of look at how things have been complex. Imagine, right? So I see this bird, this osprey, or and the, as I'm saying that, there's an, a cardinal right outside my window now. So maybe that's another message for someone. But anyways, so imagine this bird is looking for prey. This gust of wind comes in, knocks it off course. It reacts in order to get itself upright and to make sure that it doesn't slam into a, into a tree or something bad doesn't happen to it. And now it's confused, it's disoriented, and it's not in the place that it thought that it should be or that it would have been if everything went according to plan. And Spirit is saying that that is essentially you. And the place that it is that you're at right now is a result of the choice and the decision that you had to make in the moment, but you are not. And that's the thing too, is that spirit, and forgive me guys, because I just got this message and I'm downloading and kind of piecing it together as I'm talking to you right now. But spirit is saying that the situation that you're in right now, that you're dealing with right now as, as a direct result of this choice or decision that you made, it doesn't have you in a position right now where you feel comfortable. There's something about this place that you're in in your life right now where you actually feel disoriented, you feel lost, you feel confused. You might have even experienced some major level of loss. And Spirit wants to, again, reassure you and remind you that you are not the thing that happened to you. Even if you're disoriented right now, they want to remind you, Spirit wants to remind you that you are actually designed for efficiency you are i don't know why i'm hearing like programmed for success so it's like success is in your dna you are like sharp you are intelligent you are you are also they want to talk about your discernment there's something about the element of discernment your ability to see through things and see through people and it was your discernment in that moment that helped in the flash in an instant that made you say I got to get out of here or you reacted in such a way or you made a choice and decision and even though you may not feel comfortable or this where you're at right now may not necessarily be the place that is that you want to be at it was your discernment that protected you in that moment and that got you here right now even if it's uncomfortable and spirit really wants to clarify that this external thing, this person, this place, this situation, this circumstance would have hurt you if you didn't have that discernment, that intuitive knowledge, that sense in order to reroute yourself immediately, quickly, that choice, that decision. And if you are in a place right now in your life as a result of that choice and decision that you are uncomfortable with and you are not it's maybe your spirit is unsettled or you're disoriented or you're just like, how did I allow myself to be here? Spirit says that this is where you need to really receive it in your spirit, really know in your spirit that it was your, your, your choices, your discernment, your quick thinking that got you here, that protected you. And in this uncomfortable space, this is gonna be temporary, it's not gonna last forever, but that is safer than where you would have been if you stayed in that spot. And Spirit actually wants to celebrate. I don't know if you guys can see this, I have goosebumps. Spirit wants to celebrate and reward you and, and show you because literally, I'm hearing that like no one is saying this to you. Like no one is telling you either loud enough or enough, or maybe you haven't heard it yet. No one is telling you, congratulating you, the fact that you were able to get out of that situation as quickly as you did. Because, and again, they have, Spirit keeps showing me the sharpness of this bird, the intelligence of this bird, the, the, the reputation that this bird has. This is not something that is in a moment. This is your character. It's in your DNA. This is how you are wired. This is your, your gift. It's not something that gets taken away. It's something that even as you go along and live your life, it develops, it strengthens, it's a part of your character. So even if people may look at you right now and be like, she's so ignorant or she's so naive or she's so blah, 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 or he didn't know any better and it's their, their ambitious energy or their um, immaturity that got them in the situation. If, if, if they didn't, if they were more mature, if they were more advanced, if they were more fill in the blank, then they wouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. And spirit literally is like, does not, the word that they're saying is like, it defiles you. It defiles you. It defiles your magic. It defiles your creation. And it disrespects you because that's not the case. Also, I get a strong sense that this person you, whoever this is, you might have a, a, um, a reputation where you're misunderstood or at least this season or this moment in your life is misunderstood because a lot of people would not get it. In that situation, people would say, well, I would have done this. I would have done this. Everybody would have 
could say whatever they would do, but ultimately, to, would they have the sharp reaction? It's almost kind of giving me something similar to like a car accident where it's like you're driving down and yeah, maybe it would have been 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning or whatever, but you weren't technically like if the the person that was there with you was spirit like the person who knows the truth is the divine the person who knows the truth is your angels and your higher self they're the only ones that there that were there or that understand the situation so let's say someone comes in and they're speeding and they they cut you off real close and it was them that was reckless but you had you your sharp thinking or your sharp um reflexes got you out of that situation that saved your life but now because you, you know, whatever the case is, I don't know, but be, now because, you know, this person now took it against you and now they're suing you, I don't know, dude. I don't know what the example is, but it's something where it's like your reflexes saved you and that you are now in an uncomfortable place when it, the, it was your reflexes that protected you. And now the, the place that you're in right now, there's a level of discomfort. I also want to say to you guys that Number one, don't be so hard on yourself. There's this energy of like, it's my fault. It's my fault that I got here. It's my fault that this happened this way. And Spirit is saying that it's not your fault that this situation panned out the way that it did. Did you contribute to it in the sense that you brought the dysfunction? No. But did you contribute to the fact that you got yourself out of a negative situation that maybe the only person who can understand that is you and the divine? Then yes. And spirit says that there should be no guilt and no shame. And also, I don't know why they keep talking about like, you were designed, like you were designed, you were developed to have this sharp level of discernment. I also want to say that there's a part of you that needs to, in this space right now, really nourish yourself for getting yourself out of that situation. You had, there's something there that spirit needed to protect and spoke life into you. Or there's something within you that you reacted and you knew to protect yourself in this moment or you knew to get out of the situation or you knew to say this thing. And there might be the, 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 breaking down of a relationship or the breaking down of whatever this is because of that moment but the truth is is that your spirit had been sensing it and seeing it for a long time and in that split action that split moment that's what separated you from this thing that could not continue on or this thing that was dysfunctional or chaotic and sometimes i don't want to say that it's divine intervention when these gusts of winds come into our life and reroute us but essentially it kind of is it kind of is a divine rerouting so if you're in an uncomfortable place right now, I totally understand that um, because I can, the first thing that I kept feeling was this guilt and this shame and this, I'm at fault, I'm at fault, I'm at fault. And I, when I saw the bird, I'm like, the bird is so disoriented right now. And like, it's almost like a bird that gets, the, like this gust of wind comes through and pushes it off its off its path and then it ends up in someone's backyard and now it's like disoriented and there's it falls into the backyard of a cat and it's just like how did I get I would never put myself in this situation but it was your quick reflexes that got you out of that situation and you will get out of this temporary situation but in this moment try to be patient and try not to have so much guilt and remorse and like this internal like at fault I'm at fault I'm at fault I'm at fault type of energy that is that you're holding on to because the divine does not see that for you it doesn't want that for you that is not the truth um the other thing too is that there's this message about your discern there's this huge message about discernment and your ability to see things again i'm using the, the symbolism of this bird this osprey i osprey i'm probably not saying that correctly but it's you also need just like you were able to see with quick like reflexes and react upon that which is so rare you now need to be able to see what you need right now instead of finding fault and fi instead of telling yourself this is where i went wrong or if, if i didn't because i made this turn or because i got in the road this time or because this happened now i'm here and now there's a loss or now this is no longer you have to see that like 
there was a, there was some things are completely outside of our control. That's number one. <laughs> For example, Franklin clawing on me right now. Some things are totally outside of our control. That's number one. Number two, you reacted everything that you could do in the right way and with a sharpness that is divine, like divinely inspired. If it wasn't for that level of protection that you still have and that you can, st you still will carry with you for the rest of your life. And again, that's going to be the defining character about you. That's what the divine sees within you, in you is your gift. Like you exercise this gift in order to get yourself out of a situation or sense that something going on in the situation and then reroute real quick or show up and eat no and everything happened the way that it should and even if you're uncomfortable or going through the emotions or going through the feelings it still doesn't take away from the fact that you did the right thing and that you exercised your gifts to the point that it was almost a reflex for you to do this that's what spirit wants to see and just like you were able to do that in that moment, spirit wants you to exercise those gifts now, especially when you're looking at yourself and finding fault in yourself. And I want you to, to really start to clearly see exactly what it is that you need for yourself right now. What are your needs right now? How can you nourish yourself right now? What can you mentally feed yourself right now? How can you physically repair yourself right now? How can you repair your heart? How can you rest? Really use that same discernment, that same reaction that you had in order to protect yourself to now nourish and continue to protect yourself while you're in this current stage in your life. Now, again, guys, that was a very specific message. And it's so I love YouTube because this is just how in messages come to me, like as they download it'll be like half of a second and the more that I talk about it the more that I receive it and the more that I understand it but I just really wanted to get that over to you guys Franklin is also being very annoying right now aren't you Franklin he always has this face where it's like he looks miserable but he's actually very he's pretty excited usually <laughs> Franklin why are you like this he's like I don't know he says this, he's breathes really hard so anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and my little knucklehead right here. Nova's in the back. We gotta go. We're definitely running late, but I want to send you guys all of my love. And literally, be easy on yourself, guys. You, I don't know another way to say, and I right now, I actually feel bad that I can't find a better way to get this message across. But those are the metaphors that's coming through. That's the vision that is that I got, and that's the message in the best way, the best way that I can bring it over to you. So I really, really, really am setting intention, and I'm hoping that it resonates and that it sits and that if not now in this moment but moments later that it settles and it's like oh shit this is where pardon my french but this is where this message belongs this is where it resonates for me this is where it fits for this area of my life because when i tell you guys spirit was like no jess like literally share this talk about it and i'm glad that i did but really there's something here that feels like I'm at fault or if I would have been there if I would have shown up in this way or this and it's like no some things literally just happen like some things genuinely really just happen and if you're disoriented right now or this thing completely knocked you off and you are picking up the pieces or rebuilding or you're going through a grieving process or whatever the case is spirit really wants to say that there's something about your discernment there's something about your ability to see and just because you can see the problem doesn't mean that you contributed to it just because you couldn't immediately fix it maybe that's what it is that i need to say yeah anyways guys <laughs> i literally send you all of my love um thank you guys also for just the love and support because i know that sometimes you guys got, get concerned when i'm channeling you feel like i get exhausted or you're just like go rest go rest and i really i really appreciate that because i know that you guys i feel that you guys look after me just in as much as in a way that i'm trying to look out for you and we're just looking out for each other out here um and it's just i just feel that like i i spend more time now reading your comments than i've ever in my entire journey here on youtube and I don't know if it has always been this way, but the level of love and support and encouragement that is I get from you guys, not for me to come in and share the messages, but just be like, yo, Jess, continue to take care of yourself. You look good, honey. You're thriving. You're That to me really does, it really, it, I, I'm in a different stage in my life right now. So that speaks to me more than anything. Of course, I want these messages to resonate, but it also... The, the good the goodness that I see and feel from you guys, the warmth that is I see and feel from you guys all the time is also 
something that I want to give to you and the fact that we're just having this warm energy exchange and this warm energy love exchange is just really special. So speaking of special, Franklin's, <laughs> Franklin's snorting. I got to go because I'm so late again. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.